Quantitative research is a method of gathering and analysing numerical data to identify patterns, relationships or trends. This type of research often involves using surveys, experiments or statistical analysis to measure variables and draw conclusions based on numbers. It is useful for answering questions like how much, how often or to what extent. Let's look at some examples. Imagine a researcher conducting a study to find out how many hours high school students spend on homework each week. The researcher could distribute a survey to a large number of students and use the responses to calculate an average. By gathering data from a wide range of students, the researcher can find out not just how much time students spend on homework, but also how that varies by factors like grade level or school type. Another example could be a study on customer satisfaction at a fast food chain. The researcher might send out a survey to hundreds of customers, asking them to rate their experience on a scale from 1 to 10. By analysing these numbers, the researcher could determine the overall satisfaction level and identify which areas need improvement. In both examples, quantitative research is the best method because it focuses on collecting numerical data to make broad conclusions about large groups. Now let's look at four strengths of quantitative research. 1. Generalisation. By collecting data from a large number of participants, researchers can apply the findings to a broader population, especially when the sample is representative. This makes quantitative research ideal for studies that aim to make broad conclusions or establish population-wide trends. 2. Objectivity. Because quantitative research relies on numerical data and statistical analysis, it reduces the risk of personal bias influencing the results. The use of standardised tools like surveys or tests ensures consistency, allowing researchers to focus purely on the numbers and outcomes. 3. Comparability and replication. The structured nature of quantitative research makes it easy to repeat studies under similar conditions. This ability to replicate studies ensures that results can be verified, adding to the reliability and credibility of the research. 4. Identifying patterns or relationships. With the help of statistical tools, researchers can quickly identify correlations, trends and differences between variables. This makes it particularly effective for exploring relationships between different factors such as income levels and education outcomes. However, quantitative research is not without its criticisms. Let's look at four. Our first criticism is that it often lacks depth and context. By focusing solely on numerical data, quantitative research can overlook the personal, emotional or contextual factors that might be important in understanding the full picture of the issue being studied. Secondly, it can be overly rigid. Quantitative research tends to use fixed questionnaires or surveys, which might limit participants from providing nuanced or unexpected responses. This can result in missing valuable insights that could have emerged through more open-ended or flexible approaches. A third criticism is that it often relies on the accuracy of self-reported data. Many quantitative studies depend on surveys where participants report their own experiences or behaviours. However, people may not always provide accurate or, or honest answers, either due to memory issues or a desire to present themselves in a certain way, leading to biased results. It's worth noting that the same criticism can be levelled at qualitative research. Finally, quantitative research can miss the complexity of human experience. Reducing people's feelings, thoughts or behaviours to numbers may oversimplify complex issues. For example, assigning a number to life satisfaction on a scale doesn't fully capture the range of emotions a person might experience, limiting the depth of understanding gained from the research. The weaknesses of quantitative research are often offset by qualitative, so for a detailed look at the pros and cons of qualitative research, check this video out next.